Hello YouTube fans, it's your boy Brad here again. I'm going to try to do a video. I had a question about uh, from uh, a person asking how do you get the uh, the uh, Young Newell YN 968 which is here in the middle to work in master mode. Um, I don't <laughs> try not to do instructional videos. I try to do informative videos, just informational uh, type videos. But I don't do really instructional videos. But I'm going to try to do on how to get the YN968 to trigger. This is a uh, Young Neo YN685, which has a built in receiver. And over here, I have a YN622 in version 2 uh, trigger with a just a SB600 in my cluttered studio so please uh, I know I'm gonna get comments on kind of all kind of stuff but I'm just trying to uh, help someone out since there doesn't seem to be a video on YouTube on how to use the YN uh, 968 as uh, your master to trigger uh, uh, other flashes or strobes so that's why I'm using two different things here like say I got a uh, a radio receiver uh, YN685 over here and I'm using a 622 trigger on this side uh, got this on a S I'm sorry a uh, <laughs> a Nikon D7100 uh, all that don't matter I do have uh, my uh, uh, Sakonic L385 set up here um, I'm going to try to use it and maybe zoom in on it but the whole thing is just how he could not get this his uh, this to trigger his his triggers it, it couldn't, he couldn't get it so we got it set up I'll try to go through here uh, basically uh, mode button let me hit the uh, I think it's this button do I have it on Sure, I got everything on here. Okay, regular mode button with the little two, I don't know, lightning strike things on it. Uh, if you hit that, you go into master. And if you would notice, I'm gonna come out that the other two, when I turn that off, this one has a little light on it. And I already have it. Let me apologize. I'm gonna go over here first to the YN685. I already have it in receiver. It's on 622, which is what I'm transmitting. Is the six uh, I'm transmitting from the uh, YN968 uh, on the to the YN622 or the trigger. So it says 622 trigger. Hope you can see that slave mode. I have it on channel one and. Uh, group B come back on channel 1 group B so that one's already ready and when I switch I'm gonna kind of show here when I switch well let me show this one first this is the and got to make sure that you're if you're using the 622 in version 2 you have uh, several ways you can go to 622 and get that point in the right way Hopefully you can see that. Hopefully it focuses. You can go 622 or the 603 receiver. Make sure this is pushed all the way forward. That's off. Second click. Third click. All the way forward. To 622. Because that's what we're transmitting. Um, now when I turn. When I hit the button here. I'm going to hit this button. But I'm actually going to be showing. Let me go that angle. You know when I go to master mode I had to touch that uh, touch my shutter release and now everybody's connected that one has the blue light on you gotta have a blue light and you notice that this is on uh, it's blinking that means everybody's communicating our link light is on so everything is on now once I I'm doing this with my left hand <laughs> press the trigger 
and maybe you can't see all that there's no way I can show that but every flash went off now with the Nikon system one thing I did notice and this is in one of my other videos is that uh, I think in the Nikon system your flash unit must be in TTL mode for the 622 triggers but I do know that there is a problem with the Nikon system working with the young new old triggers that it will there will be a pre-flash even if you set up this your master or if you're using the controller which I don't have handy the regular controller uh, if you have it set up in manual mode, there's still going to be a pre-flash a lot of times with the trigger, even though you're telling it to do manual. There should not be a pre-flash. But in the Canon system, I think, from what I understand, is that the flash, you put it in manual mode, and it doesn't seem to have a problem because Canon flash must be in manual mode Nikon flashes must be always in TTL mode even when you're even though you're going to be controlling here manually so I wanted to hit that up now kind of cover a little bit on um, controlling the flashes uh, from the master head so on the master unit on the YN968 you have several buttons in we got your your uh, zoom come on stay on your group and your channel now if I go down and I hit my group it will cycle through each flash this is the master which is this head unit this is the master so you can control the output here um, if I hit that it'll go to manual mode and I can control it and you can have your sit up in any way uh, this one on my left I have it set on uh, ch uh, channel 1 group A and this one is B on this side so let me go back here um, hit the group button again and like I say it goes that's manual mode you can hit it and go stroll through each one and then you hit the mode button and you can go TTL or manual or you can actually just turn this one off by hitting this button here and that means this unit is not going to flash but it's controlling this one's A and one on my right is B so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the shutter release and those two actually did go off there's like I said there's no way I can't get back far enough to show all of that and and me push the button at the same time but it did go off go back in hit the group again turn that one back on well on there we go well turn it off hit this button go back to TTL now you also can um, adjust your output in the TTL mode by come on light stay on just going to it and moving your wheel so I can go by you know once you know negative one negative two negative three stops or whatever um, and then you know up to plus three stops on that side but let me see I can turn these other two off I'm gonna show that here real quick come out of that go back to there hit the off turn that one off then I'm gonna turn B off now only this one is going to go and again, I can't get these close enough. Let me see if I can get them closer. Sorry about this, guys. If I come from an angle, 
you will see hit the shutter release here here we go only this flash went off you see there's no recycling on the other two flashes so basically that's how that works um, hopefully that answers a question I'm not trying to make this long but you just got to make sure that you have a connection if especially if you're using the trigger just make sure you have it on the 622 you have this you're in the correct screen that's your TTL screen hit the button again you're into the master screen it even shows here at the top right that it's the 622 um, there's another function in here where you can I'll show you that real quick um, control the zoom head by pressing that button and the manual you know this is the master and these are the three groups and you can sc scroll through and adjust the zoom head uh, manually from this screen and that button over here with the back arrow will send you back so like I said I hope that answers the question of how using the YN968 and like I said this is the end for the Nikon model and controlling your trigger or if you're using the uh, YN685 controlling it now I'm gonna say this at the end <laughs> I do not like using the triggers with the Nikon flashes unless I am strictly in just going to shoot something in TTL mode because again if you mix this now the YN685 when it's in manual and you're controlling it either with the YN968 or the uh, the 622 trigger head unit man I wish I had that head unit um, it's in a bag somewhere it will only have a single flash it won't have uh, in manual mode you get the single so that you can use if you're using a um, a light meter you're actually able to meter your light and you can control it in manual mode but if you're using a Nikon flash on one of these triggers it will always majority of the time put out a pre-flash so when you try to meter it it won't meter the other thing that it would do if you mix these like I have them mix I have this a Nikon mixed with this and you're going to shoot and control your light manually this is going to pre-flash so it's always going to be late and it's going to affect your exposure and you're going to see and kind of wonder why is my exposure continuously off no matter what you do here even though you're controlling your light from your head unit manually it will always be a pre-flash on your Nikon flash I think Canon does not do that but Young Nuo uh, I don't think I don't think they have that fixed yet but there will always be a pre-flash on your Nikon flash versus uh, in manual mode now if you shoot both of them TTL and there's going to be a pre-flash on a, a flash you have on a trigger and if you're using a young new old flash with a um, with the trigger built in then you're, you're, you're good to go because there's going to be a pre-flash no matter what but if not I be careful when you're, you're you're going to control your light manually if you're just going to shoot at TTL, you're fine, but you're going to control it manually. You're going to have a pre-flash on your Nikon, even though you're in manual mode on your head unit as far as your output is concerned. So, okay, guys, hope that answers some questions. I didn't do anything with the, uh, with the light meter, but I was just trying to show how to set these things up and get the uh, YN968 to work in master mode. That's it. Y'all have a great YouTube day.